from your toilet to the tap will this water be safe are there any alternatives do you really trust these folks to turn water that you took a dump in and turn it into something that's drinkable i'll take a look at it on this edition of hippie versus jock Alright folks, I keep reading about this toilet to tap water. I had news up about it before <laughs> and I just find the need to talk about it. Somehow, some way, these folks have got the bright idea to take water that we essentially dumped in and turn it into something that's going to be coming out of your tap. Now, I've been out in California almost basically since 1991, 99, 2004, a little bit. I lived in Chicago for about 11 months, but ever, other than that, I've been out here in California. Now, when I moved out to California, there was a drought. You can look up drought of 1991 and you'll find it. All this time, they've had to find ways to either conserve water or make water drinkable and somehow these folks come up with the bright idea to do this now keep in mind i've been out here for a while and for some reason some way the bulletproof or what is it they call it the bullet train that only goes from la to san francisco and it's supposed to cost billions of dollars. It seems like it's gotten more press than the water, which is extremely important for us to live. It's exactly, it's really extremely important for the country to keep going. Cause you'd be surprised how much food California actually makes. A lot of oranges actually make their way from California to Florida just to call them florida oranges and that's a something a lot of truck drivers know a lot of food actually makes its way from california throughout the country last figures i read it was somewhere in the uh, maybe 25 to 27 percent of the food that's produced as far as agriculture is made or grown in california now with all that said you would think there would be some sort of priority on California and this drought that we have going on, especially since it's been going on almost since 1991. However, that hasn't been the case. So, we have toilet to tap. Now, the question I have, and how come it's been ignored, is Saudi Arabia. They're out in the middle of the desert, so you know they know what to do when no water falls because that's just the way it works there somehow some way these folks managed to get a desalinization plants and supply all the water they need while california sitting on the biggest ocean in the world can't figure that out now i know santa barbara california has had a desalinization plant for some time now I believe it was like maybe 20 years. I read about this some time ago. I also remember, I believe sometime this year, I read that they were looking to fire that plant up finally. 
and somehow miraculously an oil spill happens up in Santa Barbara and I'll see if I can find that stuff and put it in the description even so we have all this water sitting out there and somehow some way the best we can come up with is taking water that we've taken the dump in and turning it into tap water I got another suggestion and it should have happened a long time ago this year 2015 if you do a little searching here and there you'll find what they call El Nino El Nino is some sort of weather phenomenon a weather pattern that California experiences every so often some sort of cycle where the rains come the rains come and the rains come some more it will be wetter out here than Washington the folks in Seattle will be jealous because it will be wetter out here than there by a long shot but for some reason if you go and look in many places in California you look in the drains and there's a little sign on it. Please do not put such and such down here or trash down here. This goes directly to the ocean. For some reason, all these years, they want to spend money on a train. They want to spend money on doing toilet to tap. And they haven't even looked at the most basic resource of getting drinkable water that's treatable, that hasn't been crapped in which is the water that comes from rain in the first place it could be saved i'm sure they can figure out some way to do it but i don't know maybe somebody already has something set up for toilet to tap and has got ahead of the game and we'll already have the companies in place but that's just me thinking out loud so I don't know. I'll put what I can as far as uh, what I find in the description. You guys have any opinions? You let me know what you think. <laughs> but this toilet to tap, <laughs> let's be serious folks. <laughs> we can't even get them to get fluoride out the water. And there's more than a few studies out there as well as many people and advocates, doctors, that have been fighting to get that stuff out of our water for years and somehow some way we turn the other cheek and we're supposed to trust them with turning water that we just literally took a dump in and changing it into water that's potable and that's drinkable for you folks don't know what that means so <laughs> this is going to be interesting <laughs> I remember seeing a story about somewhere in, I believe, Beverly Hills or some affluent neighborhood where they use like millions and millions of gallons of water over the course of a year or maybe even a month. I don't, I don't remember the exact story, <laughs> but maybe this person knows what's up with that water that might be coming down this way and they figure they'll go ahead and get it out the way and save the water. <laughs> So, this will probably be one other reason why you at least want to make sure you filter your water. <laughs> Thanks for watching.